What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tricity. We back at it again. All right, so today, I'm going to teach y'all how to use Auto-Tune and Mixcraft. Now, I have the UAD Auto-Tune Real-Time Advanced. You can use whatever Auto-Tune you want to use, all right? Um, the concepts are pretty much the same. All right, so first over here, we have the Retune Speed. This is how fast the Auto-Tune will work. And if you highlight it, I believe this little message come up. Uh, it's not coming up, but basically, like I have it on zero, so that is the fastest speed, so it will work immediately. Um, if you have someone that does more of like the melodic rapping, such as like Polo G or like Lil TJ, I would put it on between like five and ten. All right. Then, if you have someone that sings really well and you're just kind of put an auto tune there to tighten up the performance, then I would put it around about 20, like 14 to 20, just to see how that works. All right. Then here we have your flex tune and flex tune kind of allows you to mess up a little bit more. Um, so it allows the notes to bend more before auto tune corrects them and try to put them back in key. So, like if you have someone like Rihanna who sings well and she may do certain things with her voice on purpose and you don't want auto-tune to um, take away from that, then you want to turn flex tune up, all right? Over here, we have your humanize. So the humanize will make, make it more natural as far as the tune so you don't get like so much of the fluttering effect while... Like, even though I have it on zero, because I turn up the humanize, it won't flutter so much. Um, if you want the glitchy and fluttery effect, then leave it on zero. But, you know, you, it, the more natural you want it, just start turning up the humanize. And then we have your natural vibrato. Um, and this will accentuate um, how much vibrato is in your voice while you're recording through Auto-Tune. All right. Now... Up here, we have the keys and the scales. This is very important. This is like one of the most overlooked things. The key and the scale has to be set correctly to get the desired effect for the most part, all right? Um, like I know this beat that I have today is in C sharp minor. So I have in the key of C sharp and scale minor. And then I have mine on alto tenor. Um, if you have someone with a high voice, more like, you know, um, women or men who sing a soprano, then you want to do soprano. Um, for most individuals, you're probably going to do alto tenor, that's male, or you can do low male and then you have instrument, all right? Then right here, you have this classic button. And basically what happens is it turns auto-tune into auto-tune five. And that is the popular one from the 2010s and, t and what T-Pain really made famous as far as how his music sounded um now the detune i don't touch too much in the tracking i don't really touch too much all right and then you see the detune is on zero but if you hit this bolt here um you go to i think it's detune display you can put this in hertz because we most most of the time we record 440 hertz all right she wanna go viral yeah yeah she wanna go viral But I go right back here and the tune real here. Yeah, and I turn around no bad no more. I got someone they know what I call. Yeah, money the wild is up. Uh, she wanna go viral. Woo! She wanna go viral. Yeah, yeah, she wanna go viral. Oh, oh, oh. she 
she wanna go viral. Yeah, yeah, she wanna go viral. She wants so bad. She wanna go viral. Whoa, uh, she wanna go viral. She wants so bad. She wanna go viral. I got a trick on me right now, I know.